train wreck. You can blame it on the tag or the disrespect. If we play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Bud Check family? Thank you guys for tuning in once again. It is Friday, the weekend is here, we done made it. We got the hot clips, topics, all that good stuff. Chapters down below as well, if you guys wanna skip around to a certain subject. Hot topics, hilarious topics, all that good, we just got topics. Ladies and gents, without further ado, hope the day's going good, cause you already know it's Friday, baby. It's about to get better, let's go. Stuff. He's doing Street Fighter 4 stuff. Fucking hop. <laughs> hop to the other side and shit. Let's go. <laughs> Got a rep for the squad. This is that real nigga shit, man. There, okay. Right, right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> the sponsors, brother, the sponsors. Oh, okay, All okay, right. okay. <laughs> the sponsors, brother, the sponsors. But nonetheless, <laughs> yes, it is definitely uh, real Negro hours right now as my man... Strong showing, Geo Braun. You love to see the Spider-Man. Hey, you good? Yo. Luke, you good? You good? <laughs> Yo. how cold it is in this room. All right, now into the next set of Nintendo gangster ass buttons. Okay, so this was an interesting uh, story. I saw someone post this. Apparently it happened back in the day, like back, believe it or not, in 1994. You know, recently Nintendo, when it comes to the FGC, or I should say the Smash community, has caught a lot of shit, you know, saying as far like killing the community, not supporting the game, like, you know, with these cease and desist, ba basically pissing off an entire community. A lot of people are not, big fans of Nintendo when it comes to the Smash community. Well, apparently, Nintendo did some... Well, apparently, if you rewind those some years, like back in 1994, what were y'all doing in 1994? Anyway, back in 1990 to the 4, this happened right here. Nintendo made a public event at the Dutch airport where 10 thousand counterfeit Game Boy games were confiscated in the Netherlands and they were ran over by a steamroller. Let me, let me fucking repeat this. They were ran over by steamrollers to send a message to counterfeiters. An actor in a Mario costume was overseeing the operation. Now here is the picture that was originally posted and you can see it's gangster, it's gangster as shit. You see all the counterfeit games right there. There's a bunch of people watching. You do see the Mario cosplayer, the person in the Mario costume looking over like overseeing this shit like he is a fucking lieutenant in the army or something. And you see this legit big ass steamroller about to run him over. Now, one of the first questions because people were trying to figure out if this shit was real, they were like, if it was in 1994, why is it black and white? Why in the hell does the picture look like this? That's because this picture that you're looking at is a picture from a newspaper article. So this was, you know, obviously newspapers. If y'all know, remember what the hell newspapers are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When we read them, they were black and white. So if you're taking a picture of a damn newspaper, this is what it's gonna look like. But if you continue on right here, you can see where it's in color. You can see all the games, the steamroller. I think in this picture, fucking Mario is on the steamroller. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This is some gangster shit. Mario's like stomping the games. Like uh, it was a whole, you know, article, I believe in a magazine. Yo, this was some gangster ass shit. Yo, so for all the shit Nintendo catches currently, I could say this year, 1994, they were some fucking gangsters. You know what I'm saying? They didn't just confiscate them. They didn't just like, oh, oh, we'll take these. No, they were like, let's send a message. Let's send a message. That is some mafia shit. Then they had Mario overseeing the shit. Mario on the steamroller. That, damn. Oh, and real quick, here's the profile of the screen to the uh, to the news source that actually put this out there. Super Mario Broth at Super Mario Broth, or Mario Blog, I should say. Link down in the description, definitely show them some love. That it is, ladies and gents, definitely let me know how you feeling. Thank you guys for all the massive love, man. It is Friday, we are feeling good, and we have a 
a good weekend ahead of us tomorrow what saturday sunday so the next time we're trying to post is sunday and i know i said this all the time but i swear i'm gonna try my best to get mrs button check mrs checking them buttons back in here she's just been real busy with work and stuff like that you know when it comes to me, I'm just like camera action. I'm used to this shit. I put a hat on, I, I wipe the boogers out my eyes, and I'm ready to go. With the missus though, she wanted the hair gotta look good. The, the shit gotta align, the mascara, the makeup, all that shit gotta just be working. I say, baby, you're beautiful the way you are. And she, and she say, shut the fuck up. And I say, all right. Anyway, thank you guys for all the amazing love. We'll see you soon, if not tomorrow, then definitely the next day. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, 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 subscribe. Like back in 1994, what were y'all doing in 1994? Me, I was in California and I think I was just getting to high school. Yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how old I am. If I don't look like I'm that old, yo, I appreciate y'all. But for those that are saying, yeah, you look that old, fuck, fuck y'all. Don't nobody wanna hear it, is what I'm saying. Keep that shit to yourself because bottom line, don't nobody wanna hear it. I'm still young and I'm looking, I'm looking good and I still feel young. I still feel young as hell, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna get the hell out of here because it's three o'clock and I gotta go take a nap.